is happening guys, this is Badnak for CryGander.in and today we are going to be unboxing and taking a look at two forthcoming phones from uh, Sony in the Indian market. I have the Xperia Sola and uh, the Xperia P and in this video I am going to be quickly unboxing the Xperia P and a bit about its uh, specifications. Uh, this is going to be released in a couple of days and uh, the price of this uh, device is about 25,000 rupees. It comes with 16 gigabyte of internal memory and as you can see over here it's got Android but it's got Android uh, gingerbread and not ice cream sandwich. Uh, Sony does plan to upgrade this to ice cream sandwich Android 4.0.3 really really soon and they've been uh, pushing it. Uh, you can see that we have the new style uh, Sony packaging. Uh, they've been using this on the Xperia S uh, now for the Xperia P as well. On the back you can see that it has an XMRR sensor, it has an HDMI port, the standard 3D sweep panorama that you see on all uh, Sony devices. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to be quickly uh, opening this packaging up because uh, this seems like it's going to have a bunch of fun things in there. The first thing inside the box is of course the Xperia P. I'm going to put that aside for the time being. And uh, this packaging style from Sony, you have booklets over here. So the first one is SAR information, FCC statement and declaration of conformity. We have an important information booklet over here as well. And uh, we do have a startup guide. Uh, now in this, unlike the Xperia S, all our warranty certificates from Sony Ericsson are missing. So this one looks like it is now being converted into uh, Sony and not Sony Ericsson anymore. So we also have uh, the hands-free kit. So let's take a look at that. So we have in-ear earbuds, so small and large size over here. And you can see really nice looking Sony in-ear earphones along with an inline microphone and push button to send and end calls is also over here. This is a really sleek looking earphone and I bet that the bass on this is really nice. I'm going to test it out and tell you in the full review. This seems like really good quality and the cable is also that anti-tangle kind of rubber cable so it seems really nice. You do have a gold plated 3.5 millimeter connector over here and uh, seems really nice. So I'm going to put that aside right now. Uh, the extra earbuds along with a lapel clip is also here. I also get in the box a USB to micro USB cable. Again, the quality of the included accessories seems really, really high. It, this is a really nice and high quality connection cable. As you can see, it also has uh, the surge protector over here and uh, really nice uh, connection cable, really high quality, uh, very thick cable. Not seen uh, this high quality cable on any in fact, in any phone that I have unboxed recently. So pretty impressive stuff from Sony. And you have this really nice uh, charger as well. It's uh, the raised kind of charger which collapses. So uh, that's the charger, but this comes in a UK pin form. And I don't know if that's what it's gonna be in the final box that goes out to the Indian market, but it does come in this format. Uh, you have the USB port on this side. Really nice looking charger as well. That's basically everything in the box of the Xperia P. Uh, let's quickly take a look at the device now. I'm going to quickly get rid of all these things. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Xperia P. Now, if you can see over here, uh, this uh, shows on the front of this, there's a small cover that shows that this device uses a micro SIM and you, we should charge it for 30 minutes before we actually turn it on but I don't know if I can spare 30 minutes uh, for this video. Uh, so quickly getting rid of the cover uh, or the front screen cover that they put. I believe there's an additional one usually. Yes, there is an additional screen protector on the device as well. Quickly looking at the physical aspects of the device on the front over here is a 0.3 megapixel front facing camera along with uh, a couple of sensors, light sensor, ambient sensor. Uh, you do have uh, a earpiece over here just above the Sony logo. Below that you will see a 4 inch diagonal 960 by 540 pixel resolution display. It is a 16 million color display. It is a capacitive display and we do have the same Xperia S uh, style uh, keys at the bottom. We do have this see-through plastic over here and at the bottom is 
the same removal cover as we saw in the Xperia U. So that looks uh, really nice. I don't know why you can remove it though. Seems of no consequence, uh, but looks like you can change the covers in the bottom of this as well. So uh, that's uh, why it's there. On the right of the device, uh, you will see you actually have screws on the sides of the device, but that's not uh, relevant. Uh, you do have uh, the main camera shutter button, the volume rocker button, the power lock and unlock button. And of course we have uh, the speakerphone, which is over here. So nicely placed everything on the side, everything else seems to be unibody construction. And uh, we'll take a look at that in just a minute. Uh, looking at the top of the device, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And uh, there's absolutely nothing else except this plasticky part, which will possibly hold the antenna of the device. On the left hand side, you will see a micro USB port for charging data syncing along with an HDMI port for uh, it's actually a micro HDMI port for uh, connecting to a HD television. Uh, we also have over here the SIM tray and uh, you can insert a micro SIM in here and get the device going. Uh, the other screw to open the back cover is over here which you shouldn't touch if you're not interested in uh, voiding your warranty. Looking at the back of the device you will see the LED flash, the 8 megapixel camera and the NFC sticker. You can quickly get rid of that by simply pulling it off. So once you pull it off, it's off. Uh, but it just indicates that the device has NFC. Over here what you see is the unibody aluminum shell. Really nice construction for the Xperia uh, P over here. Uh, you have the Sony, the, now the Sony mobile logo at the bottom and you have the Xperia logo in the front and in the back of this bottom plasticky bit. So let's quickly go ahead and power on the device. Uh, since the battery is already in there, the device is already powered on. And uh, this is what the lock screen looks like. A standard uh, Sony Timescape user interface over here are your media keys as well. So you can quickly swipe left or right for your media keys. Again, lock, unlock from the left and mute, unmute from the right. One thing that I've just noticed in uh, the Xperia P is that instead of having three buttons at the top of uh, these plastic bits, uh, what Sony has actually done is made this part pressure sensitive. So this is also a touch capacitive screen now. So I can actually press down on this and it's actually reacting. So that is absolutely brilliant. Uh, they have put pressure sensitive points in the bottom of the screen over here. And uh, that makes uh, the usage a lot better than what it was on the Xperia S. So quite happy with what uh, Sony has done with that. Uh, so this is the standard Timescape user interface. You have five home screens. You can pinch them in to get, to get into overview. Uh, the resolution of the screen looks really nice. Uh, pull down from the top, you will see uh, the notification panel, standard stuff. I'm going to quickly jump into settings over here. And uh, let's see if I can find it. Settings over here and go into about phone, go into Android version 2.3.7. But this will be upgraded to ICS really soon is what has been promised by Sony Ericsson actually Sony Mobile. Uh, you have the new style uh, dialer over here. Really nice, uh, really crisp dialer for uh, the device. And uh, I'm going to quickly jump into uh, settings over here. Connect to my Wi-Fi network. Quickly load up iGandroid in over here and uh, see how that loads up on this device. So there you go. It loads up the full website without any issues over here. And I'm just going to give it that one minute uh, that it'll take to load up all the images and you can see the full website just loads up instantly really fast and snappy you can see all the animations and everything looks just great everything's happening transitions are happening uh, kinetic scrolling also exists there is a slight bit of lag over here pinch and zoom in is also really smooth and uh, overall the browsing experience looks great you can switch from portrait to landscape as well and uh, you can do a bunch of things uh, you can zoom in using these buttons and uh, you can see the kind of crispness we have on the screen. Really nice, very crisp uh, display on uh, the Xperia P. Very impressive. I'm also going to quickly go into YouTube over here and try and stream a video for uh, iGAN. Uh, let's see if we can quickly go here and search for a video for iGAN. Very impressed with the kind of video quality. The viewing angles are absolutely phenomenal on this display. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but I don't think there is any sort of uh, visual display loss from any angle on this uh, display. Absolutely stunning display from Sony. 
very impressed with the display we do have a mobile bravia engine on it and you can see the display is really crisp you can see that the black is almost identical to the bezel of uh, the device uh, no difference in uh, the black levels it's very impressive very crisp uh, display from uh, Sony over here. I'm going to be reviewing this device in depth and uh, before I conclude this I'm going to quickly show you the camera. Uh, this is an 8 megapixel camera. It is a very good camera uh, for the device and uh, you do have a couple of scene modes including the 3D sweep panorama that is really famous in uh, Sony cameras or in Sony mobile phones. Uh, you do have flash settings over here and uh, you can pull in uh, all settings from over here as well. So very nice camera app from Sony. You can quickly tap and uh, take a picture it's almost instant and uh, pretty impressive you can switch from scene mode to normal mode you get a bunch of other settings and you get a lot more settings over here and you can turn on or off image stabilization as well so which should improve the kind of pictures that you can take with this camera we will be uploading a video sample and photo shots uh, from this uh, uh, while we do the review so stay tuned for that if you have any questions or queries regarding this product, make sure that you leave them in the comment section below or on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, so that we can answer your questions in the review. Uh, the device feels really great in the hand and uh, the price is 25,000 rupees uh, in terms of specifications. This does have a 1305 uh, milliampere hour battery. It has 16 gigabyte of inbuilt storage, 1 gigabyte of RAM, uh, an 8 megapixel camera and it does do full HD video. In terms of the processor, it has, it has a 1 gigahertz uh, Cortex-A9 processor with a Mali 400 GPU. So should be good in performance, should be really snappy and uh, we'll uh, show you the performance and we'll show you the full review really, really soon. For more unboxing videos, reviews and tutorials, log on to iGAN.in. If you have any questions, like I said before, leave them in the comment section below or on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN TV. I'm going to be pushing out uh, the next unboxing video, which is the Xperia Sola, uh, which is going to be coming up next. So stay tuned for that. We also have a bunch of cameras lined up for you guys. So uh, stay tuned for those as well. Uh, if you have any special requests, uh, we're going to be entertaining those as well. So hit us up, hit us up on Facebook, hit us up on Twitter, hit us up below in the comment section. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.